not you're not catching my butt going up that thing. Where are they? Right there. She is working. Way it. up there. Working it. Work those butt muscles. Hopefully they turn around and do some sort of champion and made it to the top. Well we won't see them because they're oh, still yeah. far ways to go up there. That's true. Not, not me, said this guy. Hey everybody, how's it going, eh? Todd, the cheap drums guy. Arrgh. No drums today. I'm playing a sightseer in my own state. We're at the Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore. Check this out, baby. Three hundred feet down to Lake Michigan. See there? See that way? If you go about a hundred miles due west, you'll come into Wisconsin. This is Lake Michigan. Isn't she beautiful? And that's South Manitou Island out there. Part of the Beaver Island Archipelago. Look at all these tourists. Hey, that tourist looks like my wife. Right, where is she? There she is right there, in the green top. With our Spanish exchange student and our dear friends with their two girls. Absolutely beautiful up here. And you can't really tell, but if you look down that way, you can see the tops of trees. Like I said, it's 300 feet down to Lake Michigan. You can go down there but they warn you not to because the climb is at a 45 degree angle through sand. Every two steps you take, you slide back one. To get you out of here, they have to send a boat from Glen Arbor, Michigan. And the rescue cost is $3,000. Yeah, so they don't recommend it. But you can see, there's our friends right there. Take a picture of the two girls, two beautiful girls. Behind her, it drops off at a 45 degree angle, 300 feet down there. It is just amazing. But once you're down there, the view is just outstanding. I'm too freaking old to do it, so I'm not. But I just wanted to take you guys here and show you what we're doing today. Have a great day, people. Two cute Japanese tourist women I was talking to. Oh yeah. Once they find out who they are, I'll probably have to give up an autograph or two. Those people down there are going to be paying a very stiff price soon because it's going to take them about two hours to walk up. You can see way down there, he's trying to make it up. Hands and knees, it's the only way you can do it. It's either that or a $3,000 rescue from Glen Arbor. <laughs> 